So this is what we're going to end up with this time around. It's, as you can see, she's wearing a white dress. But in reality, actually, the original photo, her dress was black. So the point is how to change something black into something white. Now, this is only going to work if it's not solid jet black. If her dress was really, truly 100% black, then there wouldn't be anything to work with because there's no detail. But as you can see, even though it's originally black, because of the lighting, there's lighter areas and so on. So first step is let's select it. Now this is probably a pretty good candidate, f I can't even say it fast enough, for the quick selection tool because uh, it's a fairly solid area. Now obviously in your case, depending on what it is you're trying to change the color of, uh, it might be a little more difficult. But just to show you, if I just simply did an invert Command or Control I, you can see it, it doesn't look terribly realistic. So we won't do that. Instead what we're going to do is add a channel mixer adjustment layer. And of course because I have a selection it will only affect that area. So we're going to turn on monochrome and in my experimentation I found that if I move these the three sliders up to somewhere in the 90 range and then move the constant slider higher I could get a pretty realistic look at that looks pretty much like white doesn't it? It's white but again because of the natural lighting there are bits of gray and so on in it. So of course because this is an adjustment layer I can always go back and edit it but I found that alone worked pretty darn well. Now I need to add one more thing. I don't need to, but I found it helped a whole lot. So I'm going to make the same selection. Command or Control click on the same one and then add a photo filter adjustment layer. And I found if I added a, in this case, a cooling filter because I was looking at the nearby white areas have a bit of a cooler look to them. So I just add a little tiny bit of that here you can see the difference how it looks kind of yellowish to begin with and now it kind of matches the same tone maybe even a little less than that now just to avoid confusion let me delete the original adjustment layers I had to show you where I'm at right now here's the original and here's now now the cool part about this is once you've done this you can also now add color for example let's say I wanted to make her dress red well Here's an adjustment layer I added and it's basically the same thing. It's just changing the saturation and the hue a little bit and it works because of these other two or especially this channel mixture. Watch what happens if I turn this off. Obviously it doesn't look very much like a red dress anymore. So not only does this technique work to change something black into something white, it often will give you the start you need to actually change the color of something as well. Of course, there's lots of different ways to use this to add color or change the color of just about anything. You never know what you can come up with. I'm Dave Cross. I'll see you next time.